Tracy's going to need time to adjust. It'll be her decision. It's got the round window. People pay extra for that, you know. That old room's better. <sighs> no, I'm sorry it didn't work out with Ted and Julie. Better next time, eh? If you want me to have better luck, Mike, you should foster me yourself. <laughs> you get paid and I'd be worth extra. Because I'm difficult and I've got behavioural problems. You'll probably get so much cash you could give up work and stay home all day eating chocolates. Oh, go on, we'd have a laugh. Going on journeys, having adventures. Just us, together. such a tragic foster dad. Don't think you can get round me with flattery, Tracy Beaker. Listen, I need you to get yourself sorted out, right? Aren't you going to go see Tracy? She hasn't spoken to me since the day she left. Can't see why she want to do it now. Who's Tracy? Just some kid who used to live here. Louise, she was your best friend. She's not anymore. Upstairs. Can I say hello? Why does everyone keep on going on about Tracy? Sorry. He's I thought you two were mates. So did I until she left and forgot all about Today. me. Louise, my dad's coming to take me out for tea. Come and help me choose what to wear. Sparky to 
up. Oh, I don't know. Depends where it's going to take me. <laughs> Hi, Lou. Tracy, this is Justine. She's in your old room. Thought you said you were leaving forever. Ted and Julie only wanted me as a slave for their new baby, so I made them bring me back. Didn't they mind? They were gutted. <laughs> there were tears sobbing the works. They even tried to bribe me with presents. I couldn't stay with adults who begged. I'm sorry, Tracy. We can't foster you anymore. You're taking me back to the dumping ground. That's not fair. I got here first. Let's see the presents then. Haven't unpacked them yet. I'm waiting for her to move out so I can move back in again. I'm not budging. This is my room now. Less than an hour. She didn't hang about. Her dad gave her that. What am I going to tell him when he turns up? Justine, calm down. I've got to have a word with Tracy. I'll have her for this. Can you fix this? I need it by this afternoon. Is it just the ants? Yeah. No problem. Yeah. My brother does the business. How did it happen? It was Tracy Beaker. First one's on the ass. Thanks. No, no sign of her upstairs, Duke. She's not down here. Right, I'd better find a social worker. No, Jenny, easy. Come on, Tracy's upset enough already without having to face Elaine the pain. Let me take the minivan and have a scout about. She's probably just sitting out somewhere. Tracy. Come on. Come on. She doesn't have to. I'm afraid she does. Don't worry, he's one of my minders. <laughs> I'm big. I'm mean. I'm a muscle machine. Oh, you had to ruin it. Thanks for the chocolate. See you around, Beaker. how hard it is having to come back but you're just going to have to try and settle in again Tracy and I really think it would help if you apologized to Justine I never broke her stupid clock ah, so you know it's about a clock Justine's dad gave that to her imagine how you'd feel if someone had broken something your mum had given you
you probably just missed his train. Who's she waiting for? Her dad. I used to spend hours here waiting for my mum. But then I realised she loves the sun so much, she must have gone to Spain. But I never got a postcard. So then I knew. She was in Hollywood! She's so beautiful, my mum. I know she's been snapped up to make movies. Your mum's never an actress in Hollywood. Well, why else wouldn't you come and visit me? My dad is coming. He said so. Well, so did my mum. Have you been winding her up? Cheering her up, actually. He's here! Tracy Beaker. It's like I've never been away. 